Okay, we're down here at uh, Penrith Regatta Centre. The outside ambient temperature is 37 degrees. Oil temperature is 105. IAT1 is at 46. Our IAT2 down the bottom there in the yellow is at 6. Now, I brought up on uh, Bureau of Meteorology as well. So we can know exactly what it is. It's 37.2 uh, degrees Celsius. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's pretty out of focus. You just have to believe me. 37.2. Um, fluid temperatures, minus six Celsius. 21.1 Fahrenheit. So, like I said, 37 degree day down here at Penrith Regatta Centre on the Friday afternoon. We're starting to get some uh, condensation there. So I'm sure everyone knows uh, what the temperature is today. It's the 2nd of November, Friday afternoon. Minus 6.2 Celsius for the fluid temperature. So obviously this has got our drag pack on it with our, also our braided hose kit, our 12 litre reservoir, our race chiller with the comp solenoid with the additional drag pack. That's how we're able to get so, so extremely cold. So obviously minus 6.3 fluid temperatures, minus 21, uh, minus 20.9 Fahrenheit. Okay, it's 37 degrees outside as indicated on the radio. Our IAT2 is at 12 and our vent temperature is at 6.1, 6.2 Celsius. So 37 degrees outside, IAT2 at 12, vent temperature at 6.1, 6.2, running cabin and chiller, 6.0 now, 6.1. They're working very, very well on a very hot day. Very nice and comfortable inside the cabin here. Uh, working extremely well. Um, so like I said, 36 degrees outside at the moment. Intake air temperature is at six. It's an extremely hot day today. And we're flickering between five and six degrees. This is all you're all out. If you were going to race the car at the drag strip today, this is what you, you know, sort of temperature you'd be running around uh, if you're running in chiller only mode. It's gone to four degrees now, so getting a bit colder. So some, some of you guys should know the IAT1 here. This is IAT1 at 46 degrees. That's at your map. That's what is on the EDI from HSV. It literally has next to no relevance. You need to get you know Talk Pro app or Fusion OBD on your phone, and you can watch the actual IAT2 in the supercharger of what it actually really is. 